if you're watching this, you're probably aware of Shooter's Pool. It's a snooker and pool simulation for the PC where you play online against other people. And unlike most other snooker and pool computer games, it's actually there's a lot of parallels between real life snooker and pool. Most of the most of the tournaments and the matches you'll play, there aren't any aiming lines or anything. Now for the first four years, no, I'd say the first three years that I played Shooter's Pool, I predominantly played the American Pool games, 9-ball, 10-ball, 8-ball and straight pool because I was playing on the British wheelchair. American Pool Tour but since last spring I've gone back to where it all started for me and I've now played on the WPBSA Disability Snooker Tour which if you've already played Shooter's Pool or you're part of the snooker club's community on Discord, then you'll know me as Qboy147. And over the last sort of couple of weeks, I've been aware of like sort of new players, and one player in particular who I, I think they are they're keen to practice and they want to play but I don't think they're very maybe aware that this is a game that you can't just quit unlike a lot of computer games if you if you're fed up you can just turn it off go and make a cup of tea have a sandwich wherever but if you're playing against somebody else exactly as you would do if you were playing in real life if things aren't going your way then you although it's possible for you to like quit and storm off it ain't seen as the right thing to do and it shouldn't ever be the right thing to do. So I thought I'd do this video as a bit of a introduction on how to like practice and how I myself improved this new coming When I went from playing American Pool to Snooker and Shooter's Pool it completely threw me off and I still can't play both I have to focus on one or the other anyway so, so when you go into the setup there's these options You can play a normal frame of snooker. It says training drills, but if you're British, then it's more like a practice and like practice routines. You can pick any table to play on. Um, you don't have to have already bought these. I tend to practice on whatever I'm playing on most regular in 
matches or t tournaments at the time. I've been playing in the Invitational Snooker Tournament for the Snooker Club members. So I've been practicing practicing on this one. You can you can pick your pick your set of balls and you can pick your venue. Again I tend to stick with whichever I'm playing most matches on. So during the times when I'm playing in the snooker clubs, sort of monthly leagues, I play in, in I play in about the Masters Arena because that's where my league matches are. Because unless you're playing in the in the Platinum League, that's where the matches are. But as I say, I've been playing in this. Um, Invitational tournament. So anyway, this is what I would recommend if you're starting out to play snooker on shooters pool. The first thing you want to do is do this routine. Every single snooker player should know this routine anyway. Before I start, one thing I will say is don't focus on thinking that you have to don't focus on that you have to clear the table because you don't. One of my first aims doing this routine was to make a 20 break. Then, once I did that, it was kind of make three 20 breaks in a row. Then I moved it up to kind of make a 25, kind of make a 30, and so on. My highest break, it says here, is 60 now. To be truthful, that's false because I actually made that on the 10 foot table so I don't think that counts I think my, my ice break on this on a full size table is about 58 anyway we're all ready where are we? Almost 10 minutes in to this video. So bear in mind, now I'm just going to point this out before I start making myself look a bit silly. I'm playing on the hardest snooker table I think is on Shooter's Pool. So let's have, right. I'm going to set an alarm for 10 minutes so let's see in 10 minutes what my ice break could be and I would say that if you're starting out playing snooker on shoes pool just set yourself small targets like that. No.
not landed. Very nice on the red. I'd like to say that this just demonstrates how, how hard this table is. Also, before I started filming this video, I made it 25 on this earlier, and in fact, I made a couple of 20 odds when I've been playing in matches as well, so not normally this bad. But this is what's important is if you're starting out in exactly the same way as if you were starting out playing snookering for your life, it's really important. practice oh, didn't hear that very well anyway pink next I think Caught the near, I just caught the near jaw. Half my time's gone. Oh, that's a horrible shot. But yeah, see, this is the only way that you're gonna get better and also play proper matches. Sure, how that will be. Oh, that's a nice shot.
Det er lovligt med den her, ikke? Yay! I've beat my break so far, so let's see if I can carry it on. I don't know whether to play the pink or the blue here. I think the pink is the right shot. Well, I thought I might have fluked it. Anyway, I made a 37. That's as far as I'm going to go with that. But if you look here, there's, there's a load of other practice routines. If you've been watching Stephen Hendry's... Stephen Hendry's YouTube channel, you can... I have a go at his tough table challenge again. That's false. It says 55, but I did that on the on the 10 foot table. Now, what I will say is, if you're starting out, I would recommend that you play on either this table or that table because for the most part they're the tables that you're going to be playing most of your matches on and also the the pockets they're not easy 
but they're also not hard either. Anyway, I hope you found it helpful. If you aren't, fair enough. But I just thought I would maybe do it, put it out there in case it helps somebody. So if you are in this in the snooker club on uh, uh, Discord, see you there, and I hope I get the chance to beat you in the, the ladder room. And if not, think about signing up. All right. As I, as we've seen, Yorkshire. Well, as we say in Yorkshire, if we don't have a stutter, no, I won't say that. Anyway, take care.